Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just drop me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get around to it. But for today, we are looking at another atmospheric fighter and this one is extremely round and called the Sphere, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a very smooth ship, where its only protruding parts are the Gatling guns at the bottoms to blast your enemies with. In order to get in and out, we cannot just clip ourselves to a cockpit. We need to undo the rotor locks by pressing 7. Then we press 6 to open up a little flap at the front and allow us to get in and out like so. I'll come back to that a bit later. Pressing F10 and finding this in the spawn menu. There it is. This is only 487 small blocks and it requires the Sparks of the Future DLC pack and the Decorative Block Number 2 DLC pack and that is that. Coming out of there and coming over to the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside and then we'll go and blast up some of the stuff I've spawned in behind it. So at the very front, this is what we get. We've got some concrete steel blocks that go all the way around this ship. And at the very front, we've got a few window blocks to allow us to see in and out. We've got five LCD screens right in front of our cockpit so we can see everything going on with the ship from our artificial horizon, our weather, and of course our power and fuel usage. If we just duck down right here, we'll see our two Gatling guns, which are our only weapons that appear on this ship. And if we were to say continue all the way around over to here, we're going to see the start of a few silver blocks just for some additional decoration and we will have a button on the left and right hand side. These buttons are for a manual in and out and of course to lock or unlock the door because if I was to say lock this up and then hop out, we can no longer get inside so those buttons are there just in case you need them. So we can press this on the right hand side then come across onto the left hand side. I think I just got those mixed up. That will then open up and allow us to get back inside. Then we can just close it back down and lock the rotors. Continuing along, there's not going to be too much else to talk about. We do have a connector at the very back there to dock ourselves up and to load and unload any goods for this ship. Then as we move all the way up to the very top, that's what we get. Just some more silver blocks where they join together. Then down and underneath, we're going to see the exact same. So there we go. It's a very brief look around the outside. So what I will do is just open up this and we'll go and have a sneak peek inside here. So inside the ship itself, we can see we've got two large batteries to power this thing and a bunch of atmospheric thrusters. Atmospheric thrusters are the only form of thrusters that appear on this ship. So if you want to go to space with this thing, you will need to attach ion or hydrogen. If we come all the way around and behind here, we're going to see a bunch of conveyors going up to our cargo containers, which is how we're going to store our ammunition for our Gannon guns. And we've got plenty of spare space in here for us to store whatever we want. Just coming around over to here and closing up the door. We'll then go and take a look at our LCD screens at the front here. So over to here, this is what we're going to be viewing. We've got two programmable blocks at the very bottom. Our left one has got our automatic LCD screen script on there. And that other one has nothing on, so we can put whatever we want on. For our LCD screens at the very front here, we've got our artificial horizon, our battery power, our fuel and power usage, our weather. And then down here, I'm not too sure what this is because it's in French. Yes, just turning around over here on one side, we've got an ore detector. On the opposite side, we've got an antenna. So we are pretty damn useful on a planet if we want to scout out some ore patches and then report it back to base. Just grabbing hold of my character and bringing up the HUD, we'll go through what this thing can do. So number one is going to be to turn on and off our atmospheric thrusters, which will cause us to come crashing back down to the ground. Number two is for our gyroscopes on and off in case you don't need them for whatever reason. 3 is for our ore detector, 4 is for our antenna, 5 is for our galling guns to fire them both together with our left mouse button, 6 and 7 is for our doorway in and out, 7 will lock or unlock it, 6 will open and close it. 8 and 9 is an empty block, I'm not too sure what they actually do, it just spawned in like so. On tab number 2, 3 and 4 we have nothing else, it's time to fly this thing around. So flying the sphere straight forwards, this is what we get. We've got a nice bit of speed on there. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but for such a novel ship design, it is perfectly suitable. Stopping as well is pretty good because we've got the same thrust distribution forwards and back. 
going left. And going right, we've got some nice speed with that. And then going down. And then going up. Again, some nice speed with this. And when wiggling my mouse around, ignoring any kind of clang noises due to the door, which is on a hinge, we are pretty damn responsive with this thing. There's not too much weight on there. There is just enough for it not to be a super floaty ship like some small ships tend to go for. Now done and out of the way, we can start shooting up the Albatross, which I spawned over to here. I'm not going to make it fight this thing, so it'll be completely unfair to fight this ship because it's made out of light armored blocks and it's only one block thick, so it's going to tear through this pretty damn quick. Yes, what we can do is go straight forwards and ram ourselves straight into it because that's going to be our best form of attack. Perhaps you could attach some antennas onto this thing and turn it into a proper ram, but it appears we have completely destroyed it. But yes, that is it for the sphere. It's a very nice little ship to play around with. I've had a lot of fun with this, just flying it around, crashing it into stuff, and strapping on some very silly weapons, such as a giant laser beam. Yes, if you wish to download and play around with it yourself, there will be a link to it in the description below. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.